Well, hello again, fans. Doyle King back with you in another segment as we got Chris Back coming out to the ring. The general manager waiting. Great to see him around watching this uh, show. I mean, he's got a lot to talk about, obviously, uh, with everything going on. Yeah, uh, uh, so, uh, yeah, because basically, uh, like I said, Chris Bad is the uh, general manager in Wayne, and I think he's going to be taking that over during Wasteland Weekend, just to let you know. And here he is, folks. Look at him all dapper up. He looks like he's in better spirits. I'm going to tell you that much right now. Hello, oh, wrestling fans. Thank you. You know, it's so great. I mean, uh, I was looking in and seeing the future office. I would be holding here at Musty Wrestling. And you know what? Great roster stars. I, some I get along with, some I don't get along with. I mean, you know what? I'm going to tell you what. I am going to be fair, Bob. You uh, cross me, it's going to be uh, a little bit troublesome for you. I'm not going to call you names or anything like that, but here's the thing about it. I mean... We've been going through some things. I'm going to explain a few situations that's been going on here. I mean, we see Matt Bennett's back. That's awesome. And I am, I could not be any happier. Hell, Red Rose. I heard uh, somebody uh, yelling out the Red Rose that she showed her two colors by saying that. You know what? Let me explain something. Red Rose uh, it has been a, uh, what is it? Red Rose and Corey Crichton has been pretty good friends for for uh, since when Crichton was trained with me and Joe Massa. He's been a very good family friend. He always babysitted the children when uh, Rose and Massa always wanted to go out, which is uh, really cool to make to make ends meet, basically. I'm going to tell you what right now. He's no dumb sucking crybaby. He's got great effort and everything else. And then, you know what? I'm not going to rip on the person that said that about him. I'm going to leave that to explain my testimony. It's like Red Rose tonight that uh, she's going through bad times. Uh, her son may be gone from here for a while. I mean, I don't know what's going on. Uh, well, I heard it's a very uh, serious business. And basically, you know, I, but, uh, you know what? I'm not going to drag everybody down. About that. I'm going to tell you that much right now. I... It's still a great event here. We had some great matches here already. I cannot believe that. I cannot believe my old nemesis, Evan Magnificent, won the WWL title. Sort of like congratulations, but not really congratulations. Because that's a guy that hurt me. But, you know, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to let bygones be bygones. Take care, guys. All right, Chris Brown. Oh, well said, sir. Well said. We're actually happening right now if you want to tune in to Twitch. Oh, wait a minute. What the heck is going on here? Miss Alice was going to be in the back talking to her son who just returned, and all of a sudden she's getting attacked by Charlotte Flair? What the heck? Oh, man. Oh, Jiminy Crickets here, folks. That's what I'm going to say about this. Oh boy, what the heck? 
This may not be good. Oh, man. On the night that Miss Alice was pretty happy to see her. But, yeah, I don't know what she, what's thinking or what's going on with her, but uh, I'm pretty sure she's pretty happy to see her son back. Now she gets attacked by her strange sister, Charlotte. Oh, no. Now we see Charlotte uh, just laying... Uh, And right now, Miss House not going to put up with any of it from the nature, so-called nature girl. Right now, I'm going to put up with And now Charlotte getting out of it. Right now, Miss Alice is going right after Charlotte. Uh. And now Charlotte, man, she's just going right now. Yeah. I'll tell you what, these, yeah, these are two, and right now, Alice and uh, Charlotte are just having a war of words right now. And now Charlotte's talking about, you know, the reason why, uh, oh, wait a minute, what did she tell her that the reason why she's the favorite player of girls is because Alice was always a crybaby? What the heck? Oh, man, that's not nice. Now, Shirley just pound away on Alice. This Alice now going right after uh, ah! Shirley here. Ah! Oh man, and uh, Shirley just tasted the uh, the great taste of locker room ah! of, uh, of uh, arena wall. That's the kind of stuff you can't find in a convenience store. And now, sure. Oh! There with that pointy part of the elbow. And, uh oh. Oh, throwing her in a locker room. Oh. And, oh, what the heck is she doing here again? Get her the hell out of there. I can't stand that double game, what's her name, Stephanie McMahon? What the heck? Oh, right in the chair. Oh. Evo. Ah. Now, Alice just going to work. He has not put up. Ah. Oh man, and Charlotte just got... They old pretty damn good, folks. Uh, and now a swinging neck breaker for Miss Alice. And Charlotte. Uh, oh man, I missed. Oh gosh. And that floor has no gear. Uh, and hit hard right on it. Oh! Look at that table, are you kidding me? Oh man. Now throwing her back outside the locker room. 
Doing it again. Oh man, right in the wall. She just nailed on uh, Charlie with her own move to natural selection. Oh man. I don't play I don't play that was I am not gonna I'm not gonna say that you know listen, she should have done that. Charlie may come. I don't about it. Rams ahead right into the uh man. Ah! And again. Ah! And once more. Oh, box headache. And Alice is telling sharply. Get her tail off. Oh! Tail through that knee, but I think Alice might have hurt herself along the way. Oh, man. And now... Oh, we're on the pop box. Right in the back of the head with that knee again. Oh man. Alice better be careful. If she, if she takes one more uh, jump off the uh, pop box like that and gets that ah. ball with the no knee pads to save her from that. Ah. That floor has no give in this arena, ladies and gentlemen. Ah. And once again, oh man, once again, wow. This owl is giving it to Charlotte Flair back here. This owl went from uh, almost walking out on Must See Wrestling that they couldn't find their son to, uh, <laughs> to basically uh, giving uh, Charlotte the feeling of her life for uh, attacking her. Oof. I'm sure for uh, the nice one. Oh. Uh, uh, that's a nice one? Wow. <laughs> okay. Well, folks, uh, yeah, we was we had a lot of stuff going on here, and... Oh, what the heck? Interesting. Finn Bowers teen up with his old friends, <coughs> Carl, Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows, to see if he can take the tag team, the six-man titles, away from... Uh, Vampiro, Punishment, Martinez, and Lismark, a.k.a. the three-man uh, wrecking, wrecking crew for Terror Incorporated, known as Pain and Torture. And if you just missed it, there's a new uh, WWL World Champion. Evan Magnificent made Billy Paul submit to the torture rack. I couldn't believe it. I mean, uh, but Evan Russell style match. I gotta give. I gotta give it up to him. I mean, basically, yeah. He he uh attacked Billy Paul's pack throughout the match. He weakened it enough to get him in that torch rack and made him tap. Fans may not like it, but it's strategical wrestling. I think Ali Covea is going to give him one hell of a dinner and champagne party, hot tub, back rub, whatever. And that's what I got feeling going on there. But the question is, can Phil Balor and the good brothers, Carl, Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows, uh, take the titles from uh, Pain and Torture? For Slizmark, uh, he's coming off a real big win as he defeated Damn on uh, Wednesday. 
was uh, surprising. Shocking. And the uh, funny thing about it was, I don't think Martinez even got involved in that match. Yeah. They basically hate to say, I mean, uh, if you heard the breaking news tonight, Baker Call has turned himself into the authorities to, uh, because he says he's got some uh, real big evidence uh, against who may be involved in Mr. Amazing's uh, ordeal. I guess six clerk got off the phone with Lieutenant Tamara Jangle. Did not fall, I guess he's saying that uh, where everybody fell for the uh, Vince McMahon Deere thing, uh, something is not true in that situation. Says if it's not true, and it turns out to be the two that they uh, mentioned strongly in the whole situation, I think the uh, patriarch of that family could be uh, charged with perjury for lying, like he, uh, for lying to harbor a fugitive. Yeah, uh, well, we'll keep you up the details as we go about that. And here's Finn Balor from Bray. It's going to be interesting. He's going to go against uh, 190 pounds. It's going to be a Finn contrast of styles with him and uh, Van Pillar. You know, I've seen a Mike seen a uh, who would mind seeing a singles match? I know we're on Van Van Pillar 0 Southern 1 2 on Twitch. You like what's going on here? Give us a like. Oh, us, so you know what other events are coming up. We'll have a re we got a replay of segment one going on right now on YouTube under Van Pill Oh, Derek, if you like what's going on there, like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, share the video, tell your friends about it, tell your grandpa Leo, even though it's, even his uh even the name even if his name's not Leo, and everything else, and uh we request an invite to join a uh, Facebook group of Must See Wrestling. Oh, it's just called Must See Wrestling. As I just said it. Post an invite. It throws a request for an invitation. We'll invite you in and you can keep up with all the news and events going on there and all the breaking news. comes as partners. Let's see these guys around. Gallows and Anderson. And his partner. Very legendary tag team. At and, a combined uh, weight of Japan. 505 pounds. Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson. Luke Gallows. He wrestled Anderson. alongside CM Punk. Because even though he thanks him for uh, cleaning him up, he's like, he calls CM Punk like the most miserable person he ever know. Oh, I believe that. Yeah, and also he's... He also wrestles at Doc Gallows in uh, TNA as a member of Aces and Eight. <clears throat> oh, I think that two matches. And, uh, and there were really Frank Cage, old champion. I thought I skipped his note. Ah. Ah. Yeah, I guess all management's been having her problems. Hey, don't look at me. I'm uh, I, I know. I, I guess you're not the one to the uh, demented love affair, as uh, fans have been calling it. I mean, uh, basically. Of course, Matt gave his two cents in right at the beginning. He says that uh, he didn't rip on anybody. He just was uh, saying what he knows from experience about everybody right now. And the GM in waiting, he basically, he will be... Uh, he will be the GM as uh, and what will happen in, uh, I think a week of At a combined weight of 764 pounds, tag team Dan Pierre O, the Punisher.
Oh, he won't be Martina. a church, he'll just be introduced and then and there's Leo. a four-man management on the wasteland. I guess there'll be six killer swan song on that. Who knows? Oh, you come on, guys, get off. Yeah, no, I'm just hey, saying. That's gotta, good. Yeah, I gotta move on, man. Gotta no, move on. I'm saying, yeah, I'm yeah. saying. Oh, yeah. That's a move on. Yeah, Doctor. You want to get uh, $3 an hour? Or you want, uh, uh, like you want a nice more. big salary? Right. Batting that off. Are you? Then you know who might be in trouble there, Dale Jones. Hey, hey, if you, yeah. wrong or right, who cares? I'm right. I know Floyd Robertson's going to be reporting about that as it's going, as the show goes on here. Matt was all in high spirits, basically. He, uh, you know what, basically, he says even though he doesn't like what uh, T-shirt that Jacob's wearing, he says he hopes everything is okay. Uh, the Terrain T-shirt, that has him being a member of Death, uh, the Death Dealer being a member of Terrain. What? Half Bennett. Oh. Then we just signed up later on here in the segment. Uh, Monty Taylor is going to be going against Rage Tonic. That should be interesting. I heard there might be a big prize on the line. Goes to the line. Yeah, uh, in the uh, you know, by what you call in one Still, somebody's food here that stands. Oh man! And Liz Mark going right after Gallows. Oh man! And Matt Bauer knocks down the Matt Bauer knocks down the giant Martinez. There's a there's a there's a contrast. You got the smallest guy going after the tallest guy. Oh, boy. Two chicks. No, it's not true. Uh, you know what? Uh, we heard it's not true about Red Rose. I don't know where the heck they get. I, I hate to say, I, uh, you know what? I can, I can confirm that definitely. I mean, Corey, Corey's over Red Rose. Corey's over Red Rose. And, uh, yeah, Red Rose was even uh, close about that. Oh, man. Yeah, but that was a You guys aren't even, they're not even married. That wouldn't even work. No, 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 Corey, uh, no, Corey has uh, strongly been loyal to Mel. I mean, it's, the story about is that Red Rose has been a friend to us. Yeah, the train with Joe Master. Well, the funny thing about it too is that well, Chris Bad has admitted, you know what, here's something new. Or Corey Craig and pay ends meet for his tuition and everything there. He held out the chores while he was at the guest house. And also, babysitted the children, Jade and the legend Jade, Jacob, and uh, Asia, while those in Masco always had their date nights. Did a damn good job of it.
Navy suit. Navy. Oh yeah, Beth Smith has not been around since uh, the holes. Oh, and uh, Carl Anderson with a beautiful walk. Oh, damn. Wow. Perry scored major because uh, maybe amazing now the pitcher and maybe depthy around the pitcher. Yeah, they need some of uh, the turn that wheel, uh, start turning that wheel. And it turns out that uh, well, not only tonic and uh, but magnificent. That thing that hurt. That hurt. Uh, fancy. Uh, oh. Uh, ah. They put some fancy. Uh. Oh, I'm paying a tour. Oh man, that was a. But they, these guys are pretty uh, terrorizing at six man champs. Lismark has. You know, everybody down on Lismark, but Lismark has really. Yeah, proven himself from that. Yeah, he is a veteran from that side. And it was all oh, it was a uh, punishment getting the pin on Dallas. Wow. Here are your winners. Uh, uh, this Dan segment. Pierre O. The Punisher Martinez. And uh, Leo. Uh, these guys are terrorizing as such. The six man champs. It's scary. I don't know, a lot of, like five or six uh love my uh the contract in my face. One of them is on the front. That no. <laughs> business. It happens, man. No, it's business. Yeah, I know. It, well, like I said, it happens. Oh, coming up next, Emma Sporn going to defend the uh, United States Championship against Kazuki Yorohara. Look at that. They got it right finally. Holy cow. Miracles never cease here, ladies and gentlemen. This oh. so sick. Okay. <laughs> ah, nice. Oh, well, I heard about this police captain, Tamara Django. He doesn't take any crap off anybody. And he, they got his beautiful portrait right off there. You see, uh, as you, if you look at the uh, recent thing on the in the group, you see Floyd Robertson's picture on the left and Tamara Jangles on the right. I to die for. That. Yeah. Well, yeah, he's an old uh, news colleague of uh, Earl Canterbury, and I guess he's been getting along with Earl pretty damn good as of late. Yes, well, the that's the first thing you Earl is a again. steel oh, cage match. Yeah. And it's for the United States. I think this is a steel case. So if uh, your her cannot regain the title here, he's gonna have to wait until somebody else wins the United States. I mean, uh, yeah, up for wait. That's 
really nothing fun. Yeah, oh, I, I heard about that. Well, that's going to happen this week yet. Hopefully we can get you some winning pitchers. Maybe we, if we can get some winning pitchers, maybe we'll put them up there. I'm so proud of it, too. It's like, uh, oh, you know what? Even though they're going to get married to, uh, this weekend in Alabama here somewhere, but uh, here's the thing about it, too, from what I heard. Uh, the wrestling side, Del Rey's in an eight-woman battle royal, and uh, it'll be Adam Strange and Tyler Meacher meet up with old enemies there in DEFCON 5. I make one. I mean, you know what? Uh, here's uh, here's some advice to Adam. Make one your best man if you want. Make one the best man and make one the dad. I mean, I would say that uh, it's not my uh, decision, but uh, make uh, Kenny the dad because he's the, he was he's the, he's the older. I would say. If you didn't hear today in WWE, I guess they released three uh, guys that have been released from the land of Stamp. Hi, Dillinger, uh, TJP, and uh, Hideo and Tommy are all officially gone. So if you're looking forward to seeing those guys in 2020, unfortunately not. So sorry, guys. You're all, you're all fan, uh, geeks out there. Uh, maybe you got Yeah, me. exactly. You're right. Yeah, it was it. I guess uh, Joe Kenny was telling me of a great video game to get for my grandkids. Far Cry New Dawn. I'm out there for the systems now. It's what happens if Matt, Far Cry was done in a post-apocalyptic Warriors of Wasteland Mad Max style. It's part two of part five. Yeah, that's why I keep hearing. Find out if you ever uh, finished up a five. Introducing the challenger from Kyoto, Japan, weighing in at 235 pounds. No, I'm not. K. Sabin, Urena, Harry. Oh, what the world built? Oh, it's a, it's another honor, another achievement. Introducing the champion from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 165 pounds. He is the United States oh, champion, M.S. Yeah. I mean, yeah, despite uh, everybody not ta talking about him, but you know what? You got you can't ignore his. Oh, no, you understand? You know, bad rap outside the ring. He's talking about the in-ring experience. Yeah, he was a he was a wrestling clinic. Gosh, I thought uh, Chad would be in that situation. It was raining now. Chad, well, you know what else? Speaking of Chad, he's in the news. His suspension may not no longer happen. Because I guess uh, El Serpento has asked Six to lift the fan off the gallery. And Serpento wants a match against them. Yeah, since he was a, I remember, the, if you watched it Wednesday night, even though it had no sound, and we do apologize for that. Uh, Serpento was attacked by uh, Chaz Foreman, but you know what the funny thing was? After that, he had to go wrestle with Royce Isaacs to defend his national title, and he won. I mean, Royce, you know what, Royce Isaacs, I'll give him all the credit in the world. Maybe you may not like him, but you know what, maybe he might be one of the stars in the future, even though... That guy is 
No, you can say technically, um, you can say technically he was dead. It's um, a good and determination. Uh, well, yeah, like I said, if you're reading our recent post about the whole state's evidence thing, uh, you see the logo and then of course you see Floyd Robertson as a second pitcher and then you see Captain Tamura Django. I'll tell you what, right now, uh, right now we got, uh, yeah, like you said, right now we have uh, MS born against Euro Hall. Right now. Winner takes on the U.S. dollar, the loser cannot challenge or wins it as long as they are United States champion. When somebody else would happen to win the title, or are able to challenge for the U.S. title. That's how the uh, whole uh, overmatch situation goes. There's a nasty uh, European uppercut over to the, uh, I guess uh, you, you, you had some of your uh, nemesis is called in the anime region. Yeah, that too. He's had all the, Oh, man, almost. Man, that's, you know what? That's uh, usual. I remember somebody talking about there's no, uh, there's no pinfalls in the steel cage match. Well, there you go. Yeah. I heard that one time from somebody, some fan complained about it. I told him, like, there's a, oh, man. Yeah, what, what a great counter reversal reversal. Uh, check up 1983 World Class, or 1983 or 82 December, World Class Championship Wrestling. Uh, Rick Flair uh, defended the title against Kerry Von Erich and Steel Cage. Turned out that uh, Von Erich wound up getting pinned by Flair after Michael Hayes turned on. Michael Hayes was a special referee. And that's, you know what, but you know, that's a classic thing in a book. That started up six-man wrestling feuds. Three birds of the Von Erich, and later on, as you know, up Dusty Rhodes and the Road Warriors against the Washings. I even the Kira and Kusha. We see fans being shocked about the recent uh, post on there. Wow, we got one fan shocked about it. Oh, look at that. Trying to wedge up uh, Urohara's neck with that. He got uh, dumped the leg lock, uh, bend over to the chin lock. Oh, but he gets out of it. It's good strength factor by uh, Urohara. Yeah, the Urohara, I'm saying, uh, to break out of it. And it was good, uh, it was good, Joe, it was good flexible switch by, uh, MS Ford. What the heck is he, oh, oh, what, oh. Oh, man, ouch. Yes. Man, he's still taking dang, dang shots, he is, I know, up the check. Yeah, back again. Oh, man, so close. Oh, uh, no, there's pinfalls, it could be Pinball Submission or Extinct. Ah, I remember that. The, the rules go a little different here. It's not like, uh, you know, yeah, you know what you're going to be? Yeah, I guess uh, what some fans say, uh, you want to be a coward, then uh, oh, escape. Oh. But uh, if you want to you do it, you want to you uh, earn your uh, fight, and uh, go get your pin, go get Pinball Submission. Okay. Ah. Which is not bad at all. I like, I like the idea of the floor. Oh man, unbelievable. The floor could get his leg over that bra thing and jump down, that's it. Oh man, are you kidding me? Oh man. I just think that's uh, what Billy Paul and Yorohara have in common. They both lost their matches, but their girlfriends retained the tag team. Yeah, you're reaching the Sakura Miura that we take the title against the uh, Austin Hub Connection. Just a uh, shot, which is WWE Women's Tag Team Champion Sasha Banks and Bailey. Oh, yeah, 
Oh no, Doyle. At Pitcher, uh, What are you here? <laughs> oh, who is Tim McKinley dating? Oh. <laughs> oh, geez. I like how you put that player of the year. <laughs> Sorry about that. We're talking about things that. Yeah. Some possible events, yeah, possible events this weekend. Here is your winner, and, so, and, and still, your winner, the United Putin States, States champion, Putin's and the United States champion. The same to a Pentagon when he defeated Mustafa Ali tonight to retain the uh, play heavyweight title. Question is, I wonder if Mustafa Ali made enough money to pay that fine for punching out the referee the other night. <laughs> Well, you know what? Alan V got fined too. Basically, uh, he got fined five thousand dollars for uh, punch out the referee after uh, losing the album off. And lo oh, look who is here, Red Rose. Wow. <laughs> hey, I bet you and a million others. Uh, and, and, uh, and, and one certain and one certain other general manager. Her husband and the three brats, uh, accurate though. Right? Nothing wrong with that, uh, big up and just saying, uh, that's how a woman like that. Oh, you know what? Red Rose has had a uh, reputation of being an independent woman. Definitely. I mean, she's been like that, uh, she's been like that now for nearly a year since Joe Masters passed away. I mean, she tried going with a couple short relationships, and unfortunately, I don't know, I guess, I don't know if it's the haunting of, uh, Masker being gone has done it, or God knows what. Who's the bees, but... Go out with the three, uh, bees. <laughs> yeah, you know what? She keeps herself in great tip top shape, I gotta admit. Yeah. Hey, thank you all for uh, coming out here tonight. And I didn't know if I was gonna make it here or not. I'm not rustling tonight, but uh, I got a few things to get off my mind here as it's been a bad night. I mean, right now my son has been put in a witness protection program since uh, he's given out a couple of big names. He's given out some possible evidence that might lead to arrest quite a few people. You no, know, like I said, he had nothing to do with it. I know that much. And uh, it must have happened right after he left. I knew that. And you know what? Here's the thing about it. My son is a war veteran and uh, basically he hasn't taken any medicine for his, uh, his uh, disorder. That's the reason why takes it out of the ring on opponents. I know it's not the right thing to do, but you know what? He doesn't want to uh, get hooked on the stuff like uh, some of his idols did and passed on. I don't admit that much. The head case, but he's still my son and I love him. Now, uh, you know what? I heard uh, somebody say I showed my true colors. No, uh, I didn't show my true colors. What you got to understand is I'm a very independent woman. I've been an independent woman since. I've been trying to keep. I've been trying to play peace. With you. When I see the in, I see names get growing, insults get slung, and everything else. I need that. I'm not a kindergarten teacher. I'm not. Uh, no, I'm not a uh, babysitter. Basically, uh, I got enough of that with my uh, with my kids at home. I mean. Uh, I mean, uh, Jay, I, I just got done uh, going out to dinner earlier today with Jay and Asia, and uh, we were talking about stuff and everything else. Uh, it made me feel good to cut. You know, it always makes me feel good to uh, talk to them. 
I said, I'm not going to mention any names. Uh, everybody knows what's going on. But you know what? I haven't turned against anybody. And I haven't had friends turn against anybody. But my decisions are as I make them, my, I make them myself. But blame me. <laughs> what do you think? She looks like a delivery driver? <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, nice to see Red Rose there. She seems to be a little uh, mellow and uh, worried. Coming up next, Women's Battle Royal. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. There we go. We're going to go over the list of people that are involved in this one because I think they're already in the ring. We got Monica Del Rey, Akira, Tony Storm, Angie Strange. Miss Wonderland, Megan Daniels, newcomer Sh Su Su Shao, who is uh, basically uh, Kasha's sister. And we got Shotzi Blackheart. The winner of this match may be concerned for a future title shot down the road. I wonder what repercussions are going to come from that, from uh, Rose being all mellow and stuff about that. I mean, uh, I guess maybe that, but maybe that might have been work on her mental mind. Oh, you hate to see your kid get in trouble. You hate to see your kid uh, have to go in uh, that way. Oh, hey. I'm open my house, but let's get to your house. You Chad? know what? She's getting married tomorrow. You gotta leave her alone, man. She's getting married tomorrow. She's gonna be, uh, pretty soon she'll be Mrs. Monica Strange. Oh, she wants to add the Dell straight. Which she wants to add the Dell part to it. But the father, come on. Got money? Who got no uh uh fake problems? Come on. Well, you know what? Uh, you, you know what? Uh, Adam doesn't really have. I mean, Adam's. I can't admit. And she, I'm hoping uh, that uh, everything goes well for her, but it's like. Adam, I gotta admit, he's uh, been uh, persevering them through this really well, and they, with the help of uh, not only Monica, but Tyler Meacher. Tyler Meacher is a tank. Horrible athlete. I see him uh, going right up there with the, Royce, the likes of Royce Isaacs, and uh, I see him going right up there in the superstar, the, like, the likes of Royce Isaacs and uh, El Dodel Serpentor. I'm thinking we're going to unload a uh, plate. Oh, am I? I'm doing my little plate. Hey, you know what? I think you're going to get, get a real bad remark from uh, Serpentor about that. Hey, this means when I ask for a contract from you. A busy guy who's also been wrestling in his neighborhood of Puerto Rico and stuff like that. Not easy when you're on. Uh, Flying uh, left and right on plane flights to death. I know it's nice frequent flyer miles for maybe him and uh, if uh, him and I know him and Sarah Perry, maybe they might uh, figure out a trip here or something down the road or something like that. Oh, it's nice. I want to see how the Susu Chow does. Go, uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Knows how it was. So she's just been having a little bit of a hard time. I mean, uh, you know what's your name, Danny? Yeah. Be nice. Oh. oh man, and the traitor to the stars is gone. Megan Daniels is gone. Fans like calling her Lieutenant Callahan.
Oh yeah, yeah, he yeah, got good old uh, the Lieutenant Colonel from the Police Academy case. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's... And, and Su Su Cho in trouble here against the uh, Halsey Badass from the Black Lagoon. Uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, she's probably uh, drawing inspiration off of uh, MS Portland. Susu Chow, the newcomer. This is her first official match. I mean, well, I guess there was nowhere else to put her because they wanted to have a battle run, but they also wanted to showcase her. And uh, basically, yeah, this is her big chance that she can outlast seven, seven strong veterans in there. Outlast the one so far. Oh, wait a minute. Shotzi. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Oh, man, she couldn't knock her out of the... Yeah, she was late. It, it could have took one simple knee to get rid of her. And Susu and, uh, oh, couldn't get Tony Storm out of there. She pulls the apron and stays out, but look at Susu and Angie trying to get rid of Bob. Uh, you know, sometimes a little double team doesn't hurt. They're incorporated. They got a good 25% chance of winning. Got Akira and uh, Shotzi Black. And there's a bulldog by Tony Storm. Welcome to the league, Susan. Oh. oh man, it's sandwiched by as Angie throws a shoulder block that goes right through Shotzi, right through Del Rey. And there's Angie going right after Tony Storm. Susie's laying out down there on the apron. She could get out of there or she, she may be kicked off there any minute. Oh man, and now Monica says goodnight. It's, oh, Monica says goodnight to herself and she got eliminated by the previous Akira. Oh no, and Akira looked like she's going to eliminate the sister in law. I guess she's going to get, get both these girls a early night out of here so they can get ready for the wedding. I guess that's the idea that Kira's got in her mind. Here we go, folks. Uh, Shotzi, and, Shotzi and Wonderland. Wonderland's still in there. I mean, Wonderland's a fighter. Yeah, Wonderland's a fighter. I'm not going to call her that. Let's miss Wonderland. It's, yeah. Oh, and there goes Wonderland. Good night. Her ink has claimed the victim in this battle royal. Oh, what? They got Red Big and Tail? Oh, yeah, Del Rey, yes. Oh, and Shotzi uh, going right after Akira. Of course, you know, they are allies, but you know what? Unfortunately, uh, and so every person for themselves. Oh. Oh, definitely unfortunately. This tag team match is, you, know, you probably see Akira and Shotzi doing well, well together. Uh, I guess Ellie had a chance to go in there, but she uh, declined and decided to go out early with having a magnificent so for their WWL World Title victory. And there goes Tony Storm. The girl from the Gold Coast says goodbye. Oh, the women, no, she, uh, she's not the lucky Susu Chow, is it? She's the one. Oh, wait a minute, Susu. Wow. Wait a minute. The Susu gets rid of Angie. Wow. And the bad, the bad luck for Angie continues. Oh, uh, well, feel, what, yeah, we don't know what title world it's going to be for, but we know it will be a title shot down the road. Yeah, and look at how, and look at how, uh, how, uh, how polished she's become as an athlete. Oh. 
However, yeah, later on tonight she's got an interesting matchup and she's going to be going against Tracy Torment. We can play that WWL women's title. Uh, you know what? I, I, you know what? I, I don't know how friendly Melody is with Angie and uh, the the uh, was it? Ch the Chaz kids, but they're probably cheer they're probably cheer for uh, Melody for sure now. Oh, they are. What the heck? The rookie's gone. Oh, man. Sue Sue is gone. Everything. Everything. Oh, I'm going to Oh. 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 How you doing, viewer? Yeah. Yeah. How you, how, uh, how you, how you doing, man? Oh, 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 and Akira. Yeah, what a way for her to make a comeback. Oh, definitely. Wow. She has just earned herself a future title opportunity. Back then. Uh, her sure. last one's yeah, technical. Off. Yeah, we got the yeah, we got on technical who has it on. That's the I see the phone the real trucks that things happen, dude. Yeah. Tusu gave it her all. She was She's like fine. Yeah. I get She tried taking out the Kira and uh yeah, she tried uh taking taking those two out and that but it was the numbers in Terror Incorporated were a little too much unfortunately. Fight. Here is your winner, Akira. Yes, that's what NWA old school says. Hey. How are you doing, NWA old school? Great to have you on board here. I'll acknowledge. I'm gonna acknowledge. I will definitely acknowledge whatever viewers I see out here. So give me a give me a hello, and uh, I'll be glad to. Uh, Acknowledge ya. I don't know. That's weird. I want. I wonder what the T-shirt says about that. Oh, Jesse Ventura. That Jesse Ventura T-shirt. <laughs> oh my gosh. What? The, what is up with Ryan Taylor? What the heck? Yeah, two different makeup. Uh, I guess he tames his mohawk for saw. Uh, must see wrestling when he's a terror ring person. Or must see, I guess, who knows? Oh, I heard that, um, uh, what do you call that? Uh, I'm a member of, uh, Rage. Uh, <laughs> and now NWA Old School says Rage spit, Taylor spit. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't know. Good question. I guess, he does, I guess he's not really too much a fan of uh, Taylor and uh, t I guess Taylor Tonic or Magnificent for that matter. I cut uh, Taylor. Uh, and WA Osco, I'm going to guess he's a fan of the Jim Crockett years, basically. And you know what? I can understand it. It's, it's, it those were some good years. All right, here we go, folks. Extreme Rules coming up. Yeah. Making Ugh. his way to the ring that guy. from Fresno, oh. California, weighing in at 248 pounds. Now he says, Rage Mr. Bookstick, right on the floor. Oh, man. I was losing my dad. <laughs> uh, Taylor uh, and uh, the men, except my name, like, honest. So, who knows? Well, what the heck is that shirt he's wearing? I, I need to see him take off the jacket so he can uh, 
Yeah, see the whole thing? What does this mean? Yeah, I guess NWA Sloan School was saying to Rage Miss Luke stick right up for you. Well, uh, sir, that's uh, actually a scar he's got. Ah. Oh man, there he is, folks. And his opponent from Springfield, Illinois, oh, weighing in at right? 310 pounds. Ray oh, just because got camouflage pants? Tonga. Yeah, I do. Uh. What's Tommy says? Yeah, top. Oh yeah, Tommy gets one of the veterans here, Fred. Oh wow. Dude. Okay. There. There we go, folks. And, uh, I did, what does that say? Jesse Ventura for Shockwave General Manager? Are you kidding me? Uh, that's a lawsuit. Um, uh, sorry, Shockwave. I'm sorry about Brady Taylor. Um, yeah. yeah you, you know, he brings in all these t shirts that, uh. Brings in all the, Yeah, he brings in these, uh. He makes his own t shirts, actually. Yeah, like the, uh. Like, uh. With the one we saw the last couple of weeks with EP plus CHA. Well, that backfired because he had to put those on clearance. Uh, I think it's Billy Paul did win, but look what happened to Billy Paul tonight. It's like, shockingly enough, uh, I don't know, I don't think it's a shock to have a magnificent won it. I mean, uh, you know what, he wrestled a very strategical matchup, uh, you guys watching segment one, I mean, I've been magnificent, uh, worked on that back of Billy Paul, got him weak of it, uh, put him in that torture match. This is a matchup I don't think the fans really care for because the thing about it is that uh, these two, uh, they do not like. I guess if there was a flaw on this right now, they'd probably, probably there would be like a, close to 100% would say they hope they uh, kill each other. And there's a choke in the corner by Taylor. In, in Taylor's eyes, but... Uh, well, you know what? It is legal. It's extreme rules I keep forgetting. Basically, that's what it is. Got Tyler, who's a restaurant owner, and Taylor, who's, uh, I guess, uh, some kind of entrepreneur. Who knows? No. Well, that's, uh, that's what an entrepreneur is, an owner of an enterprise. Yeah. yeah. Oh man, that would be interesting. You just love the ECW days. Let me know. Maybe I might give you back the, maybe uh six guy if you talk to uh if you talk nice enough with uh Mussy Wrestling, uh talk nice enough with Mussy Wrestling, the thing about it is that uh maybe uh I might give you back the ECW dollars. No, it's possible. I know the women's uh, holder is Diamond, e uh Wolf Charles the ECW men's holder. And, uh, and of course the, uh, hey, belts go to Thrain Demolition Man. Yeah, he, yeah, that's very nice. Yeah, definitely. He, uh, he does take out the page of, uh, Nature Boy Rick Blair. Always likes doing that strut when he's got the opponent down, definitely. That's definitely what the, the old school Rick Blair day was all about. Well, who knows? Maybe Ric Flair might be back here uh, without, yeah, without anybody noticing, basically. Because, uh, what was it? Uh, last Friday, him and Mr. Perfect, unfortunately, fell short to the uh, rookies, uh, Meacher and Strange, in that WWL Tag Team title match. But, uh, you know what? Flair doesn't stay down long enough. We'll get back up and he will rebound.
me up. Awesome. And who knows me down the road. Oh, I'm in an, oh. Oh, no, dice bread. Oh, me. Why are they four? Man. Thank you. That's all right. It happens. They they oh, call it the punch. They they call, yeah. They, well, you know what? No, no, it wasn't really the power of punch. It was just the right hand. Power of punch is where they uh, sneak in their tights and oh no, oh, old school days. There would be somebody with brass knucks or DBOS with the loaded glove or Shane Douglas with the chain. Oh. Oh yeah, you outsmarted it. I think yeah, you definitely outsmarted it. Well, you know what? What are you talking about? Mismatch? Oh. I mean, wow. Right now, Tonic's got the. Uh, oh man, they're white to the jaw, Brian T. I'm not the kind of overbearing that Ronnie want to be hit with. Oh, he The wardrobe wise, but not looks wise. Oh man, there's a, there's a slam. Alabama, Mobile, Alabama tonight. We'll still continue the golf course tour. I mean, next week we'll be in the great state of Georgia. And there you go, we got uh we got Tonic working over uh Ronnie to work. Oh yeah, I heard about that. Yeah, that's now that's gonna be an interesting situation. Kenny's son hired as a cook at one of his restaurants. That is interesting. And of course, there's the hesitation glitch again. Afraid to pick up the guy. It's 2K. Well, it took long enough. Oh, uh, well, yeah. Unfortunately, oh, what? What's going on here? And oh, oh, oh! Gosh, Taylor just got a uh, man. M100, huh? Get out! Man! Do it! Oh, hey, go uh, you wish. Yeah, unfortunately, you wish. But it didn't turn out to be that way. Your next three rules, there are no count on Oh, man, and, uh... I could swear I thought that was three. Oh my gosh. Looks in those muscles like ever magnificent. Must be a terror ain't it? Right now, oh, take. Sure it is.
It's on a call right now, Becky Lynch. Could definitely call the words. That's the one I wouldn't mind getting. Be nice if it does it. Oh, this is the wonderful world of 2K. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh. oh, man, are you kidding me? Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, here we go again. Dice for it again on the... Oh, man, again. How much more can you take? The fans are not... You know what? Surprisingly, the fans are cheering more... Are in Katana's corners. They're seeing... Uh, oh, no. It looks like it's half and half. Pulling in for the pin. And unfortunately, that low blow was the killer for our H Tonic. Wow. You know what? I don't think it's going to affect uh, Terry Incorporated because they're still blowing off that world title win. Low blow didn't taunt it. That was the key. Hurry, no good. You know what? I, I'll, I'll agree with you at some point there. Right now, they weren't no good in that matchup. But uh, you know what? If you, if you watched it earlier, we've seen uh, Pain and Torture retain six man titles, and also we saw Evan Magnificent win the world title. And now we saw, and we also saw Kira win uh, the Battle Royal tonight. So. They're, they're batting pretty well, three for four tonight. Uh, I'll, 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 you know, Here I, is your winner, I, I can understand where you're coming from, but uh, Taylor. you can also uh, give a testimonial. And there you go right there, and it is, it says Jesse Ventura for Shockwave GM. Are you kidding me? There was an interesting three-way tag match that you uh, missed early. If you missed earlier, uh, oh, Nia Jax against Diamond coming up. W Women's Title on the line. I objects do not like from all uh, NWAs. Uh, I, you know what? I, I could take her waiver, but I guess uh, with the heel heat going on, I guess unfortunately she seems like the flavor of the week right now. Of course, right now it's Stephanie and McMahon are uh, roaming around the three area, roaming around the three, trying to roam around the three federations. Wherever she goes, Nia Jax is not far behind. Ah. And here we go, folks. Big matchup coming up here. Of course, Nia, Nia Jax won this uh, title shot because she was the runner-up in that battle. The following contest is uh, an extreme match. And it's for the Extreme Women's World Championship. Uh, uh, oh, that's a, yeah, that's a sad thing about it. Yeah, when, like I said, once again, Stephanie's around, here's the thing about it. Uh, 
Nia Jax is around, so is uh, Charlotte Flair, so is Tessa Blanche. Charlotte Flair, I don't uh, know, I think, uh, yeah, Charlotte Flair was, just got trounced by Miss Allison in that backstage ball earlier this year. Here comes Diamond with that ECW women's title. This is her like her, I think, second or third second or third reign. Yeah, well Charlotte definitely. I mean, yeah, Charlotte is good. I mean she's proven to be one in the uh Russell League that uh it's proven her own, basically. Gotta admit, I, you know what, like her or hate her, she has proven her own. Better learn than that. <laughs> ah, I knew that was gonna come. <laughs> Introducing the challenger from San Diego, California, Maya Jacks. Oh, Introducing like, the champion. Byron's got a tough task on hand Ohio. here. Guys. But, she but, uh, is the short, extreme short, but, uh, women's second world man, nice champion. Nia Jax, nose breaker Diamond. Now, if you haven't paid attention to the uh, Shockwave, go to YouTube and uh, give them a like and subscribe for us. I mean, they're a neighboring uh, federation because most of the people you see here, are, you're going to find nine out of ten times there. And also, uh, Go to Facebook and uh, yeah, request an invitation to join the Kick. What's it? It's still known as Kickstar Wrestling Federation there, uh, roughly, but it's now known as King Shane Wrestling Federation. Now, really, yeah, those three work uh, coincidentally hand in hand, basically. They're known, yeah, we are known as the uh, tri trifecta of the federations. Oh my gosh! Oh, a diamond trick in her butt. I eject the head. Oh man. Yeah. I had Jackson with a nasty side slam. Ooh, beautiful elbow uh, counter. And a beautiful spinning head scissors by Diamond. Diamond with another kick. Head. Oh, you stop it. Well, we're not. Yeah, you know what? That is me. Right. Oh gosh. Oh man. Oh, oh man. Oh, ouch. Oh, ow. Oh. That was nasty. That what uh, Nia Jax just did that diamond. There's a chop right there from Nia Jax. Open. I think they're over it. I guess uh, even though he does, he's playing. He blames Corey for the uh, about turning Red Rose when Red Rose just admitted that uh, basically. But it seems like they're, they seem like they're on decent uh, pages. Who knows? I don't know. As, as far as I saw, as far as I've been listening to the shows, who knows? I might, I might be wrong. Maybe I might. Uh, who knows? 
Good job. Oh, yeah, of course you're going to be cheering for Diamond. They do not like Naya. Let go. <laughs> oh, no, no. Oh, man. Where's she go? Oh, no. Oh, jeez. Ouch. Damn it. Damn it. Samoan drops nasty. When you get dropped on your back like that, nasty. And when you get dropped like that against uh, somebody and can put force behind it, you're in trouble. Okay. I'm back. I agree, Max. I agree. Uh, I guess he's here to, uh, what? He's here to spectate, so it's like I can understand. Everybody's got a right to spectate. And you know what, I'd have no problem. Max is welcome. Uh, Max is always welcome here when I'm on that. And Diamond kicks out again. Diamond showing that heart, grit, and determination. I think coming up after this is going to be a TLC match between uh, Brandon and Robert McMahon is going to see if they can get back the titles from uh, Brandon Demolition Man in a, ladder, in a uh, TLC match. And we all know they're friends and everything, but you know what? That doesn't stop friends from competing against each other. Oh, that's a trouble. Yeah. I mean, there is such a thing as scientific matches. You know, everybody would think there might be 1960s and... It was a... It, in 1960s and uh, 70 60 years, but you know what? There's a lot of great matches. Now, some of my favorite NWA uh, scientific matches were against, maybe I would say against, not only race against the Hawks, Harry and Dory. Those were some great matches. Yeah. Uh, friends always need a challenge, too. Yeah. I said, Max Cruz are long watching this. Oh, close line of the corner, nowhere to go. Let's see, yeah, I could see, uh, yeah, I brought up a good, there you go, I, good point there, hey. I mean, I, and I forgot, I don't know, yeah, I know Terry Funk went against Harley Race, but I keep forgetting he won the tell from Jack Briscoe. Yeah, definitely. That's the thing about it, I mean, uh, Oh man, Anaya Jack's dropping a knee right on Diamond. One, two, oh, once again, Diamond showing that. Man, the diamonds are fucking. Anaya Jax is throwing everything, including the boulder at her, and. Oh, oh man. Here we go again. Right on the shoulders, and. Hey, now. I bet Stubby's licking her chops at this, folks. Yeah. I bet Stubby's to be pink. Yeah. There's a key and I agree. Yeah, definitely. He was a uh he was some he was somebody you didn't want to mess with in the ring. Who does? And right there folks, Nia Jax. They, you know what? Fans are uh just gr gritting at that folks. Here is your winner and new Extreme Women's World Champion, Maya Jax. 
Uh, no, I see that stuff free now. No more toilet duties. I, you know, I saw that last night, Max. Such a shame. Nia Jax. Wow. There you go, folks. And maybe we'll have to, uh, I'll have to talk to Six Gun and see if he wants a radio show to watch or something. I wouldn't mind seeing it. Yeah. It'd be interesting. We, we, uh, we, uh, I think we need to uh, stretch out to the corners of the world. Huh? I agree. I got good. Go. Oh, back to up to three now. Wow. And here we go, folks. Here's that match I was telling you about. Grit and Robert McMahon are going to see they get their titles back. But here's the thing about it. If they would happen to win the ECW Tag Team titles again, McManus would have to vacate the TV title. A great, you know what? McManus doesn't mind, I guess. I mean, he knew there was a rematch thing. It's just that, uh, thing about it is that, uh, they were just thrown in as an added attraction when he, he beat Evan Magnificent, but look what happened to Magnificent. He went on the bigger boundaries. He's got the WWL World title. Yeah. Later on tonight, still, we got the uh, first blood match has now been declared between Wolfchild and Abdullah the Butcher for the ECW World Town. I'll be coming up in the next segment. We also got Melody against uh, Tracy Torment. We also got Cheyenne against Dawn Batten last woman's day. We also got Vader against Brimstone in a last man standing match. Wolf child, ha, huh? yeah, definitely, yeah. There is there is a wolf child out there, definitely. Personally know him, he's a cool person. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Definitely. And then coming up tonight, since Matt is back, we are gonna have we are gonna have the uh, must see wrestling world title match. Matt Bennett against Brad Bomber. That's right. happening tonight. Ah. What I heard is that uh the story about it, well he mentioned in his promo that uh John 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 Monica John Monaco happened to find them uh in the back of uh, a nightclub basically, uh in the back in the back outside area and uh, Monaco and uh who is Su Su Chu uh, Chow managed to bring uh him home and uh, I guess uh, home over to Lorenzo's cow pal. Is located somewhere in uh, Parma, and basically, Lorenzo and Kasha managed to, uh, you know, with some help, uh, managed to give him a good lunch and everything else, a little recover, and uh, looks like they might be on good terms there. Plus, you I know it seems like we just seen a uh, wood on there. It's like, yeah, it's shocking too. We always thought that those guys were never going to get back together. Uh, no, on good terms. Okay. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh. Yeah, that's the thing about it. Uh, yeah, what's that? We don't know what happened to Resistor after. And Miss Ellis just said awesome and thank you. Uh, well, you know what? I, I'm pretty sure they're going to say you're welcome on that. And uh, you know what? Uh, 
you know what, you know what, six snore, yeah, he kept everything calm and uh, cordial between everybody, and uh, he met, I guess it happened, the man's all fall at the same time, so kudos on that. Now I'm going to enjoy Chris Bat being a general manager, but you know what, there's going to be a part in my heart that's going to miss six kill. I'll mention that. There he is with his TV title, but he could be winding up vacating that if he happens to win the uh, happens to win the uh, ECW tag team title tonight. Right again. Actually, surprised him. I went great. I mean, here's the thing about it, too. I'm going to watch last Friday. I wish the man and the threat were. Uh, Demolition Man and the Threat won the titles. Demolition Man walked out on the Threat after winning the titles. Because I guess basically he has a fear that the Threat, if he wins, uh, most likely they got penciled in for the ECW World Title Shot at uh, Wasteland. I guess Elias is going to be going for the uh, WWL World Title. But right now we got penciled in Elias versus Evan Magnificent. Because Elias was the water off of that uh, big jungle ground Royal Rumble match. There's the threat right there who was a second runner up. There's his cousin Demolition Man. And is that a weird look I see Demolition Man give the threat? Both these guys come from the same uh, island, uh, same, uh, same great island of Puerto Rico, like uh, El Hijo de los Serpentor does. I mean, Puerto Rico puts out a lot of great athletes. So even if you were a fan of the WWC days and stuff like that, uh, it seemed like the likes of Carlos Colon and Hercules Ayala, who, when uh, WA old schools call balls. <laughs> oh my gosh. Got a lot of the fans that you know every there's there's always great personalities in the fans here. It's, it's so great. I better be careful not to laugh too much. A threat might come over to the announcing table and choke slam me. Yeah. Carlos Cologne and Mercury Zayala and the Legends like Victor Jovica in there. I think Jovica, if I'm under the power of Jovica. You know what? I remember him from uh, Trinidad. He was a wrestler from Trinidad Tobago area on that wrestling field. Haters and all those guys. Oh, man. Oh! Rich just, oh man, that was vicious. Rich just got power bomb on the outside row on that, on that floor. And you know what, they, they said it's like, oh, you'll be all right, there's a out there. That pain does not have much gear. Ah, Mr. Table. Oh, damn. Well, well, he's got, what is it? he's got, don't forget his other friends, Mr. Ladder and Mr. Chair in this match. Oh, oh there's no, uh, you know what, as I've seen of, I've never seen anybody, oh, that's only Extreme Rules I've seen from the uh, Kendall Stick and stuff like that, that's the thing about it, I guess, oh, uh, it's called that, so Kendall Sticks and all the ground chains. Operation game, yeah. <laughs> oh, Opera, yeah, Operation Classic. Oh man, and right now, McManus, they call him Mighty Mouse because he's only 5'6 and the problem is, uh, 
Hey, he was, he's got a lot of hard determination. Like I said, right now we're on Twitch. If you like what's going on here, give us a give us a follow on there so you'll know what's all going on. Now we did, uh, we put our on YouTube if you want to watch this over again. If you missed something or just want to watch it, uh, like, subscribe, tap bell for notifications, share the video and everything else. Oh, talking about the t-shirt. <laughs> yeah, the three has some unique clothing. Of course, come Wasteland, that could be possibly our future ECW champion. Tori held that title once, uh, or twice, I think. He can, he can make, he can make a tripod that title wins. Question is, he would happen to uh, still hold the ECW tag team titles. All this wonder if Don Wilson man's gonna take any angst against that. Oops. Oh man, there's a punch right there to uh, McManus' head. Is uh. Ritz going for those titles. Belfast Brawler himself, uh, not Nate Finley. Oh, Finley was a tough son of a gun. Get credit where credit's due. It would have been great for the old NWA old school days, definitely. Just came in during when, uh, and, oh, and Graham McManus regained the title, and look at Delusion Man throw a fit. I think she owned it the threat. Wow. Oh, my God, sure did, yeah. Here are your winners, and the new ECW World Tag Team Champion. Yeah. Wow. Garrett O. Yeah, what, the tool, they should say once and again. Robert Mac Man Finn. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna be back here in a few minutes with another uh, segment here. So, uh, you see it come back on there. I will be glad to get notifications to get started up again and everything else. So, uh, stay with us. Just stay patient and uh, unfortunately, unfortunately. Freaking engine only lets us off uh, one show at a time. Stay with us. Yeah, I heard. That's amazing.